Well, hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Ilvinia and in today's video we're going to continue with the celebrity style analysis series and today's the day of Monica Bellucci. So basically we're going to talk a little about how I see her style and then at the end I'm going to try to recreate some outfits from her. I did a poll a few weeks ago, you know, asking which celebrity would you want me to do next and the majority of you said Monica Bellucci, so here I am, you ask and I deliver. So let's just get right into it. So Monica Bellucci is an Italian actor actress known for her versatile acting skills and also for obviously her timeless beauty. She was born on September 30th in 1964 in Città di Castello, Italy and she gained recognition for her stunning performances in both European and Hollywood movies. Monica's career took off in the early 1990s and she quickly became a very sought after actress in Hollywood. She appeared in a wide range of movies going from Malena, Irreversible, The Matrix Reloaded, The Passion of Christ, showcasing her ability to you know excel in different genres. Monica Bellucci is renowned for her sensuous on-screen presence and has been a symbol of you know elegance and beauty in the world of cinema for decades making her one of the most iconic Italian actresses of her generation. But she's celebrated not only for her acting prowess but also for her impeccable style and her fashion sense. She's often regarded as one of the most glamorous and stylish actresses in the world. So some key aspects of Monica Bellucci style are first of all she exudes an aura of you know timeless elegance and often opts for classic well tailored pieces that emphasize her natural beauty and her curves whether she's on the red carpet or you know in a very casual event her style always reflects sophistication then also Monica Bellucci is known for embracing her sensual side with her clothing choices. She frequently wears dresses and gowns that highlight her hourglass figure, often with plunging necklines and form-fitting designs. Then while she can pull off a very extravagant outfit, she also really appreciates the beauty of simplicity, occasionally opting for minimalist outfits in neutral tones that showcase her understated but also very charming beauty. As an Italian actress, Monica Bellucci also pays homage to her heritage uh, through her fashion choices. She frequently supports Italian designers and brands showcasing their craftsmanship and style in various occasions. Then another thing that is very important with her style is that she's not afraid to, you know, make a statement with her accessories. She often complements her outfits with bold and eye-catching jewelry, which could be like necklaces, earrings, bracelets, everything. And lastly, what sets her apart, I would say that it's her ability to adapt her style to different situations, whether it's a very glamorous red carpet or a a very casual environment or outing she transitions effortlessly from different looks but always maintaining an air of sophistication and here's where i'd say that if i would have to describe her style i would um, base it on elegance and sophistication but i think that she has two different two distinct branches to her style and one is a little bit more minimalist and more classic especially in her day-to-day -day life and then she has another side which is a little bit more glamorous and romantic and sensuous which is mainly in her red carpet appearances so in terms of colors she mainly wears neutrals particularly black but also she wears a lot of whites and beige and navy blue so this hues form the foundation of her wardrobe and exude sophistication but also bold red is one of monica bellucci's signature color she's often wearing red dresses especially in red carpet events which you know complements her skin very well and additionally she occasionally chooses more jewel tones like emerald green sapphire blue or burgundy which makes her look so mysterious and elegant in terms of prints and patterns monica bellucci has been spotted wearing animal prints like zebra or leopard especially in terms of accessories or maybe dresses and i think that these prints add a touch of boldness and sensuality to her looks and i think she looks amazing also she occasionally wears floral prints usually in subtle and sophisticated designs such as floral lace on dresses or delicate floral embroidery and lastly polka dot patterns especially in black and white is you know very classic for her and she occasionally really goes for the whole 
retro polka dot vibe so her body shape is an hourglass and she's very good at dressing for it therefore she wears a lot of form fitting pieces that highlight her curves and you know gives her a sensuous image and she also occasionally wears uh, tops or dresses with corseted or bustier elements further highlighting her hourglass shape she's dresses are a staple in her wardrobe and they are known for their classic and flattering silhouettes often featuring very tailored lines and clean cuts she often favors necklines that are subtly seductive like for example off the shoulders or v-necks that you know draw the attention to her decolletage and for a touch of drama she may choose uh, dresses with high slits to you know add a little bit of allure to her looks so by this point you may be asking like how do I get the Monica Bellucci look? And I have the answer for you. First of all, invest in classic staples that emphasize your figure. This includes well-tailored blouses, pencil skirts, sheath dresses, and blazers. Opt for neutral colors like black, white, uh, beige, navy, but especially colors that complement your complexion. Then number two is choose pieces that, you know, accentuate your curves. So look for dresses or gowns with draped form fitting or wrap styles. And pay attention to neckline as Monica Bellucci always wears v-necks and sweetheart necks and off the shoulders. So have that in mind. Number three is to select clothing that is made with high quality materials like silk, lace, cashmere. These materials drape beautifully and can add a sense of luxury and sophistication to your look. Number four is to ensure that your clothes fit perfectly and if that means that you have to go to a tailor, let it be. A well-fitted outfit can make a world of difference especially if you're trying to get the Monica Bellucci look. Number five is that we cannot forget about makeup and hair. So focus on achieving a flawless skin, a subtle contouring, a very, you know, neutral color palette in the eyes and a bold red lip is the way to go. So keep your makeup sophisticated, but not overly dramatic. She often wears her hair long and wavy. So, you know, try to, you know, create some curls or some waves and always try to keep your hair very healthy. That is very important. And also you can consider to do a very deep side part. She looks great in them and you can too. Number six is to opt for accessories that complement your outfits. This may include oversized sunglasses, bold necklaces, and statement earrings. So choose items that complement and enhance your look without overshadowing it unless that is like the main focus of your outfit you know number seven is that perhaps the most significant aspect of monica bellucci's style is her unwavering confidence and obviously she's a very beautiful woman so she has the goods to feel confident but confidence is key so carry yourself with poise and grace and remember that feeling comfortable and confident in your outfit is essential whether you're trying to get the monica bellucci look or not confidence is what makes you feel beautiful and number eight is to incorporate some italian influence into your looks especially because italian fashion is very characteristic and it has a very high level of craftsmanship so you can take a lot of inspiration from italian fashion from different italian brands and that will lead you to monica bellucci's style so now that we have talked about her style let's try to recreate some outfits okay so outfit number one is this one I love this look and particularly the dress. I want it for myself, really. She looks so chic. So basically to recreate this look, you will need a polka dot dress, a black cardigan and some black boots. In my case, I went for some knee high boots, but you can go for any type of boot. And I even think that some stilettos could look really, really great with this look. So outfit number two is this one and you know obviously it's very casual and very simple but very elegant at the same time so to recreate this look you cannot get any easier and simpler than this some jeans and a white bottom down shirt and some sandals or platforms or whatever you have like i said it's super simple but super effective and i think she looks great
Okay, outfit number three is this one. She looks so pretty and so, you know, charming and it's very romantic and dreamy. So to recreate this look, go for a flowy flower print dress with ruffles and some sandals. Very easy. Okay, outfit number four is this one. I think it's a great outfit and she looks super chic. And at the same time, like with every outfit that we have talked already, it's so, so easy to recreate. So just go for a leather skirt or any statement skirt in this case, in this outfit. The skirt is a focal point, so any statement or eye-catching skirt will do just fine. And then add a white blouse or a shirt and some stilettos. And lastly, outfit number five is this one and it's incredibly iconic. So she's wearing this beautiful black dress with the lace shawl with fringes. I think she looks so stunning in this outfit, seriously. So to recreate this look, very easy, go for a classic black midi dress that is form-fitting, a statement shawl, preferably with fringes. And for accessories, add a diamond choker or a pearl necklace will do just fine. And for shoes, I... I don't really know which shoe she's wearing, but I added some black slingbacks. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, let me know down in the comments section if you like this outfit, if you like this video, and also which celebrity would you like me to do next. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications down below, and as always, I will leave the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day, I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!